Hey, what's up, guys? This is Who Won't, and this is episode two of Car Mechanic 2015. So, I did a couple more uh, small repairs to the suspension and stuff like that. And this car right here seems like it's probably the most jacked up one that I've <laughs> tried to repair. It needs. I already bought the parts, but it needs a fuel pump, piston, ignition coil, and spark plug. So this one might take a minute to actually repair because we have to actually break down the engine for this one. So we're going to need the lift because we'll need to be on top of it, or on the top side of the engine and the bottom side. And then we need to replace the fuel pump, which is usually inside of the fuel tank area or around the fuel tank area. But, uh, so if we check out the engine here, we need to disassemble pretty much everything here. And we're going to start with probably the ignition system right here. So we're going to take off the coils. Uh, there's the bad spark plug. We'll take out the bad spark plug. Actually, we'll need to take all of them out anyway. We need to take off the exhaust manifold. This is where the exhaust leaves your car uh, through the tailpipe right here. We need to take off the manifold. Which connects to the exhaust, the rest of the exhaust system. That's where all the explosions happen, guys. Uh, we'll take off the cover. Yeah, we'll have to lift it in a minute, but we could take a lot of it off from here. Uh, I think we're going to have to start pulling off the pulleys and all this kind of stuff. Uh, after the intake manifold and everything. There's the throttle body. Intake manifold. Which, a lot of this stuff needs exact, well, once you start getting to the crankshaft and all that, you need, I think you need like a torque wrench or something so that you can properly adjust the torque on it, but I guess we'll see when we get there. Uh, the fuel rail. And, I think we take out, okay, the tensioner, we'll take off the tensioner, the, which, this is what adjusts the tension on your belts. And then we'll probably end up taking the belts off the serpentine belts. Water pump. And an alternator. This is what recharges your battery. And if I say something wrong, just tell me. Because I'm not like an expert or anything. Can't remember what the idle roller is for. I th think that it properly adjust the idle on your car in one way shape or form I could be wrong about that one there's the there's the crankshaft pulley right here that's what turns the crankshaft which uh, turns your uh, crankshaft which turns the pistons or well controls the pistons I guess you'd say power steering that allows you to turn your car with ease instead of having to mechanically turn the tires this is just the cover for the Okay, uh now we need to take the camshafts off. This, this is the timing belt. Um We're gonna need to adjust the timing, but I, I don't know if they're gonna make us do that, I guess we'll see. Um crankshaft or the cam gears, which turn the crank or the camshafts. These uh control your uh, inject, or I'm sorry, your uh, valves. And let's, let's see if we can adjust this view real quick here. This is the engine head. So after we pull this off, we'll see the piston. Now we can't pull them out yet <laughs> because they're connected to the crankshaft down here. When the crankshaft turns, the pistons... Actually, oh, you can see it just now. Oh, yeah. See, there's the crankshaft at the bottom. 
which we'll probably have to lift the car to get to. Well, it'll be easier. But yeah, you can't just pull the pistons out because they're connected to the crankshaft or uh, camshaft. Sorry, crankshaft. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do we need to take off the starter? I don't think we need to take off. We'll take off the starter. Screw it. Just in case. I don't think we need to take off the starter, but I guess we'll see. Uh, all right, now we're gonna need to get up under here <laughs> and uh, fight with the bottom end. So let's go ahead and lift the car. I don't know if we need to put the hood down, but we'll just do that. Okay, so here's the bottom end. Uh, dang, we might have to actually take off the exhaust. I'm not sure. This might be fun. Let's see here. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. This is the oil pan. That's where your oil is, obviously. Ah, there we go. Okay. I don't think... Uh, I guess we do need to take off the oil filter. We do need... Let's see. Let's take off the oil filter. I don't think we need to, but... Okay, what's next? <laughs> Engine bay. I get. I'm trying to remember. Do the bolts come in from the top or the bottom? Do we have to take off the exhaust? Mm, might be safe as well. Let's take off the exhaust. Oh, okay. Crankshaft bearing. Okay, so let's get it. We can't get closer. Let's see. Zoom. There we go. All right. So this is the bottom of the piston I guess you could say well this is where the piston connects to the crankshaft right here so you need to take these off which it is a four cylinder car so there are four total and we won't have to take the crankshaft off where's the fourth one did I miss it did I get all of them? Oh, there's one wait um, oh, oh, okay, we're gonna have to put the car back down, because, yeah, those are, wait, I thought those were from the bottom, but uh, it says a symbol from the engine bay, so let's try it, let's lower it. then there we go okay so now we can take the pistons out this is the only one we need to take out I think this is the bad one let's check yes that was a bad piston okay so now we're gonna put we're gonna go to assemble mode we're gonna put the new piston in can we really put the head on now let's just do it screw it I don't think you're supposed to put the head on first but we'll do it because it allows us to while we're up here. But I'd feel safer if we just go ahead and lift it and put the rest on real quick. Wow, it lets me put the camshafts on and everything. Okay. And we'll probably go ahead and do the fuel filter also while we're down here. Okay. Oh yeah, zoom, zoom. Okay. Assemble mode. We need to put, there we go, okay. I really actually don't think I was supposed to take those off. Because that actually will release the... Move. That will... Okay, that's the... Hold on, let me make sure. Let me read it again. But crankshaft bearing. Okay, so... Yeah, we didn't need to take that off, actually. Those actually hold the... The crankshaft in. I think we're done down here, unless I missed one. Let's see, one, two, there's only three. One, two, three, yeah. All right, let's put the oil pan back on. And we'll be done with this part. Oh, we can put the oil alternator back on too, maybe. Put the exhaust back on. We might need to take the exhaust back on, actually, or take it back off, actually, to do the, let's see, where is it? Uh, we might have to take the exhaust off. Nope, fuel tank, come on. 
Let's see, what does it want us to take off? This? Hmm, uh, I might have to figure this one out here. I'll get back with you on this one. Because there's the pro- oh! Yeah! Easy mode. Okay, never mind. We've got it figured out. Assemble mode. We'll put the new fuel pump in. And I think we can lower the car now. Yeah, let's lower the car. Yeah, everything's there. Okay. We just took a, a whole in, a entire engine apart. So, awesomeness. All right, uh, I don't want to. I want to put. We'll put the man, the manifold. Let's put the starter back on first, and the alternator. And the power steering. There we go. Oh, let's just put the fuel rail in and maybe the intake manifold. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> come on. You can do it. Throttle body. And let's see here. I guess we could put the intake manifold back or exhaust manifold back, huh? Why not? Why not? I see, it doesn't make I don't think it makes you take off all the hoses and stuff, which <laughs> that'd be kind of fun. Uh, the manifold cover. This is like a heat shield, basically. Pretty important. Pretty important. Camshafts. I thought that they, they're supposed to be a, like a specific one for each one, but eh, we'll just go with the flow here. We can put the... Actually, let's put the belts on real quick. And the cover. See, right there we would have to check the timing and all that kind of stuff, I'm pretty sure. If I'm not mistaken. Water pump. <sighs> this makes it look so, so much easier than it really is. Tensioner, or idle roller. Thing. Tensioner is up, goes right here after the belts. Well, I thought you were supposed to put the tensioner on first, but, you know, whatever. It doesn't want us to, so. Two serpentine belts, cover, and we'll go ahead and do the spark plugs. We'll replace the bad one. Yeah, yeah. We're on a roll, dude. Hundred oh, oh, percent. There we go. Eighty percent. I only replaced one. Yeah, that's the one I replaced right there. So. Oh, uh, take that back off. Put the right one on here. All right, we put the ignition coils back on. We've got the tensioner, everything. Let's open the inventory just to be sure. Oh, inventory. Oh, exhaust. <laughs> Wait, I thought we put the exhaust on. Oh, is that the rear exhaust? Oh, yeah, we'll have to lift it back up, but. That'll finish the job, I think. Okay, uh... Exhaust pipe, oh! Oh, my. yeah, we need the filter, the oil filter. Which we're gonna have to lift up for the oil filter. Exhaust pipe, and we'll be, we'll be done, I think. Still adjusting to this game. Uh, oh, no. Uh, 
There we go. And we are finished with this car. Let's see. Let's make sure. Order. Everything's done. $940. Actually, those parts were really expensive, so... That wasn't too bad to disassemble an entire engine, actually. <laughs> and replace a freaking piston. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for viewing. Please like and subscribe.